Okay, welcome back to the channel. Th thanks for tuning in. Uh, today we're going to talk about the dynamic commands uh, preferences. Uh, first, uh, I'll have to apologize if you hear any yelling in the background. That'll be the family going crazy. Uh, Japan is playing Cro Croatia in the World Cup in Qatar. Uh, so uh, if you hear any loud yelling and screaming, that probably means Japan's uh, scored or something. Uh, so uh, apologize in advance for that uh, and I want to get back there and watch the game myself so I'm gonna go through here real quick this video was uh, requested so I'm just going to uh, uh, rip through it so here we go uh, first uh, if you go up here uh, and you go to your view uh, this will turn on all or turn off all your uh, commands uh, so if you go to view and say you want the render uh, let's see yeah, the render view showed up uh, in your, uh, you can just click there and it'll automatically show up. This is just uh, the views. Uh, or if you wanted uh, your gym report to show up in your dynamic commands, uh, you can just click on that and the, the gym report would show up. So you can click them on and off. If you don't want to see any of them, uh, you can just uh, click on the dynamic command and they will all go disappear and go away. Uh, so that's uh, that part. Uh, you can access the preferences for the dynamic commands in any of the cogs uh, anywhere. If you click on any of them other than the dynamic command, you will have to go in and click dynamic commands. Uh, and then the box will show up. If you go to the dynamic command cog or gear and click on it, it shows up automatically right away. Uh, so the first one we have here is highlight the geometry in the viewport on the mouse, uh, highlight duration. You can kind of set how long you want the uh, duration to be. Uh, the default, I believe, is, is three. Uh, but what that does is uh, if you come over to your dynamic commands and you, you can see it highlights these gems. It'll highlight what uh, that command is. Uh, uh, activated so like on mirror here where to go okay if I ha r scroll over it you can see all the prongs that I mirrored prong placer there uh, gems on curve it'll show you it'll highlight those if that's turned off uh, it will not do that so let's go back to the c dynamic command let's turn it off real quick and hit done uh, and then come over and see now none of that's being highlighted uh, to me that's a great thing because I don't really have to rename all these I can just hover over it and it'll show me what it is so I just always leave that on uh, this one here attract active uh, viewport uh, things being changed in your slider uh, so if you click on something and you go in and uh, you move something around it'll show you active uh, right away uh, so that's uh, useful I didn't I turned it off and I, I didn't really see a big uh, difference though uh, let's see go to let's go to yeah the heads fine and then uh, let's cut to go down here to the bottom where's my head there it is it's turned off okay so if I want to edit it and uh, rail count it still shows me so I don't know exactly uh, how that one really works uh, because if I turn it on it will show me too <laughs> so uh, if I go to rail count and it shows it too so I'm not sure exactly what uh, what how that one works maybe on different things it'll work differently uh, but uh, we'll keep moving forward uh, auto expand a selection builders uh, that one is uh, just basically it'll expand these builders out so if you gems on curve uh, you know you have all your options here it give you all your options so if you click on it not to expand them well let's click off of that real quick uh, let's go to yeah gems on curve we'll just go there uh, to me again it shows most of them maybe it'll highlight some other things so if I edit it, uh, gems on curve, edit. So it, it kind of shows me everything, even though uh, I turn it off or click it on. It still shows pretty much everything. So uh, 
I'm not sure exactly, but it'll expand it. Maybe they're on certain commands, it'll just not give you all the things there, so it won't expand them. Let's see, let's click off of this. Uh, that one's not, uh, I always keep it clicked or checked. Uh, let's see, expand, okay. Uh, enable wire wireframe so basically when you come over here to uh let's see uh let's do the sweep where's the sweep okay the sweep if i go in see you can see it changes it to wireframe when i when i'm in here changing things it'll it'll change it to wireframe uh and we'll continue on not no big deal on that one uh, back faces enable back faces is is a good one to have checked because if you're making uh, something uh, and uh, let's click off this if you, you go in here and you type dir right dir direction it'll show you normally all closed surfaces will point to the out direction right it'll point out not to the inside because uh, matrix can't determine what's on the inside so it goes everything direction is always pointed to the outside so if you're making something uh, and it, it, you're having a hard time bullying it uh, this is a pretty useful command because it'll show you that they're they're facing inside so you have backward geometry uh, so uh, sometimes that can help uh, I just always leave that one checked uh, but it'll show you the geometry uh, on the or the faces uh, enable uh, render okay if you have this one checked you'll want to turn off wireframe so it'll just speed up everything either have one or the other or none uh, checked and then hit enter and now when you go to uh, edit something it'll show it in a, a rendered view so uh, you know to when you go in to manipulate it it'll just show it in a, a rendered view so you can have render wireframe or nothing. Just get out of that one. Oh, let's undo that. Okay. Yeah, okay. Uh and then uh let's keep moving on. Uh so uh skipped prompt to complete the previous command. Uh let's see. Skip prompt. Uh, this one will give you I believe you know that if you're working in here you're doing prong placer you're you're doing some kind of thing and you go up to click uh, it'll ask you this box right uh, I think this is it let me check and make sure let's get out of that here real quick cancel uh, yeah right yeah that's what it does uh, if you can set it so that it'll automatically do whatever you uh, to go to the next command instead of having to hit enter it'll just complete the command right away uh, it'll abort the command or it'll cancel the command so you can set it in here automatically so let's say I hit just complete the command okay and then I uh, go back and so I'm editing these prongs uh, let's go ahead and you enter uh, let's let's just make them uh, taller so I go in here and drag them up and then I just want to go make a box real quick it'll go ahead and complete the ca command and I can go ahead and well sh should have been able to let's do that again go in here I'll edit uh, edit the command okay then I'll, I'll want to make a box and it'll just go ahead and complete the command and or you don't have to hit enter you just click off so let's one more time go edit let's drag them up and then just click on another command and it'll finish those out it'll just go ahead and update it. you don't have to click enter that's what it is you don't have to click enter to do it and then you can just go on to the next command get your box draw your box draw your circle whatever you want let's go back 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 yes okay all right uh, uh what else we got here uh let's see uh, i don't i just leave that off i'd rather have it just pop up because sometimes I, I click on it, I, I don't want it to, to f complete it. 
uh, recalculate the geom geometry on command. If you click this one, uh, basically uh, you you have the ability to where it. Let's see, uh, Jim's on rail. Let's go to ring rail. Find something here that we can work with. Uh, let's edit the gym curve. So you go in here and uh, placement, drag the. See, it's kind of taking a while to update. But it'll update it. And you hit enter, wait for it, and it's kind of like that. So let's back it, undo that. Uh, one more time, <laughs> uh, and it recalculates the you know, So click on that, and we'll hit done. And let's go to something more easier. Prong placer? No. Where's my head? There it is. Uh, so here, and I go in he here. Rail count, or let's do prongs. Where's the prong height? Prong o overall height. Okay, so right here, you're kind of updating as you go, so you can kind of see it as it's working. So let's get out of that real quick. Close that out. Edit it. Uh, prong offset. So it's it's updating as you go. Okay. So let's get out of that. Let's go back. Let's turn it off. Done. Uh, let's go back to my head. Uh, let's see, rail count, overall height, it, it kind of shows them both, I'm not sure, it's kind of same thing, to me at least, uh, but it'll, it'll, certain things, it'll update quicker or whatever as you're doing it, uh, use legacy profile editor, uh, right now if I have a, let's see, I think I can, dig one of my profiles out of here. Uh, let's see, turn on yellow. So if I select this profile and I want to edit it, and so I go into my profile editor, I have the, the new editor, right? Okay, so let's close out of that. Uh, if I turn on my cog, go to use legacy editor profile and hit done. And now when I go to my profile editor, it'll give me the the old, uh, it's not really anything like the old one, but it's what they consider to be the, the old profile editor. And you can add points in there and take away and all kind of stuff. <laughs> Clapping. <laughs> but uh, that's kind of the you can change the profile editor which that one uh, is is useful at times real quick uh, manipulation uh, here uh, show category icons that just kinda changes the men menu uh, over here so if I well let's go over here uh, category what has categories uh, I think my uh, well, let's get out of that uh, go to my head. I think the head has a lot of them. Yeah, right here. All these categories, right? So if you uh, go to your and then sh uh, show category icons, so you can see they disappear and just change to writing. One, two, three, four. Uh, so it'll show the icons here or it'll hide them and you can just see the levels there. Uh, show category uh, text uh, just shows the icons and doesn't show the text so you know there's different ways to set it up see right here level 1 level 2 level 3 you can see with the icons or you can hide the icons and just see the I mean yeah hide, hide the text and just see the icons uh, here you can uh, 
show icons that don't show icons. Uh, not down low enough, I think you can see that. Let's see. All right, let's drag it up so we have a bigger view of it. Let's see if I can. I can't. So you can. All right. So let's go back. Uh, show icons. Oh, the icons on the side here. These icons. Uh, it'll take away those. So you get a little bit more space, I guess, maybe. But uh, to me, it's not a big difference. Uh, show sliders. You can hide the sliders and just type in the values, or you can have the sliders there. Uh, you can. Oh my God. All right, you can make the everything a lot bigger or a lot smaller or in between. Uh, slider thumbnail style. Uh, this The slider over here on these styles you can change. Uh, open curve has a little hole in the center. Uh, triangle. Uh, oval. Square. You can kind of change uh, change that up. I'll just do default. Uh, and or if you want to, you don't like you, you something you set and you didn't like, just clear. Go back to defaults. But that's kind of it. There's uh, there's some useful stuff in there. Different times, I guess. Uh, but you can set it up however you like. I hope that explains it, and I hope that's what you were looking for. This was a requested video, so I, I hope it answers your questions. If you have any other in-depth questions, just go ahead and post it, and I'll, I'll try to answer it for you. Apologize, uh, but I'm going to get back to the game right now. So uh, good luck. If you like what you saw, uh, please leave a like, subscribe, and a, a comment below. Uh, thanks for watching. Good designing. Go Japan.